Hello and welcome to another video. Today is animal profiles number 11 with the eastern long-beaked echidna. And make sure to like and subscribe to gain knowledge because knowledge is good and you can get more of these videos as well as my other videos. Anyways, on with the video. Location and habitat. The long-beaked echidna, like all other monotremes, well not all, not all of them, long beaked echidna is one of the few yeah it lives in the forests of new guinea but all other all other monotremes live in australia diet these mammals look and act like the south american anteaters but even if they aren't related they still eat the same thing Insects, especially ants and termites, make up the majority of the echidna's diet. Even though this picture is of a short-beaked echidna, long-beaked echidnas would do the exact same thing with their really, really long tongue. Eggs and babies. Unlike most mammals, long-beaked echidnas lay eggs, but still produce milk. Others, like the long-beaked echidna, are called monotremes, which are some sort of primitive, which are some of the most primitive mammals on the planet. Baby echidnas are also called puggles, and that's and this is what they look like. It's little spike balls. Identification. Unlike most animals, long beaked echidnas are very spiky, and have a long, thin snout. Its cousin, the short beaked echidna, has a shorter snout. The other. They also have large paws and make burrows. Statistics of the Eastern Long Beach Echidna. Length, 18 to 31 inches or 46 to 79 centimeters. Location, Papua New Guinea. Status, critically endangered and the danger rating is 2 of 10. Low risk. Next time is another animal profile. Australian animal with the parenti. Anyways, see you in the next video.